In Tuesday's Season 1 finale found Gaby, who had been abducted in the previous week's episode, came home to discover that Sir had broken free from her basement. Sir had broken free to retrieve her on his own, as no one had notified him that she had been recovered. Watchers discovered that Sir, Mark Paul Gosselar, who managed to escape his bonds with just his bloody handprints, marking the way up the basement steps, is once again on the run. The only person who was initially aware of Gaby's, Shinola Hampton. Dark secret was Than, Karen Oberoi, who inferred that Sir lost it when he discovered in Season 1, Episode 12 that Gaby had been abducted and was not recovered safe. In addition to putting Gaby's secrets at jeopardy, Sir's breakout also endangered Lacey Quinn, who was formerly another of Sir's hostages in the early 2000s. After all, as Gaby told Dan, Sir had held Lacey responsible for Gaby's teenage rebellion 20 years before. While Gaby was handling one of the most significant cases of her career, the disappearance of an 11-year-old child, which the public was made aware of in the first episode of Found, she trusted Don to live for Sir. After an anonymous tipster placed a picture of the missing girl at an unidentified train station in the early morning hours and attached it to Mosley and Associates' front door, the case was given renewed attention. Gabby tried her hardest to keep Lacey safe the entire time, keeping her secret. Isn't there something else going on? Lacey pondered, but Gabby couldn't tell just yet since a little child's life was at stake. The squeaking sounds of mice, which would reappear later in the season one final, may have caught the attention of viewers in the opening moments of the show. When young Gabby, Azaria Carter, was a new student in Sir's English class, the scene was found again in 2001. Gabby's brilliance was instantly apparent to Sir, particularly in her portrayal of Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. Bully Kyle from high school called little Gabby a teacher's pet and hurled a pencil at her. In front of the other pupils, Sir remarked, Mr. Randolph, we don't dim someone's light no matter how brightly they shine. Later, when Gaby and Sir had discussed the issues in Macbeth and Lord of the Flies in the school corridor, the bully told young Gaby that smart isn't sexy. That afternoon, Gaby went to his classroom to have a private lunch with Sir after learning from a passing student that Kyle was throwing up in the hallway. Hours before he abducted Gaby, Sir would refer to Kyle's illnesses as karma. Dan revealed that he got a hit about Sir's potential whereabouts from one of his former CIA sources while Gaby and her team continued their search for the missing girl. Under the identity Eric Lansing, someone matching Sir's description secured travel documents, according to the informant, who specialized in counterfeit passports and may have boarded a flight in Washington, D.C., Gabby and Dan assumed Sir decided to continue on the run after realizing Gabby was safe from her most recent captivity. Dan made the decision to assist Gabby by going back to her basement and erasing any proof that Sir had ever been there. Dan threatened to remove every evidence of that bastard from Gabby's home over the phone. Should he be apprehended and attempt to drag you down with him, it won't be proven, Gaby declared. He will never be believed by anyone. However, in the later portion of the show, Dan told Gaby that he had received information from his informant that Eric Lansing had taken a plane from Baltimore to Amsterdam. At that moment, Gaby recognized Sir as the anonymous tipper who had left the missing girl's photo at the train station. Gaby stated he understood how important this case was to me. Maybe he thought of it as a ruse to get me to come back. He feels that his current mission is to assist me. He believes it to be a bond. Gab eventually told the other members of the squad about her confinement under Sir after realizing that he would never let her free. When Gabby arrived home, her house was deserted while her peers processed the emotional impact from her confession. She discovered rodent poison missing from her cabinet while there, examining a cabinet that had evidence of Sir's blood. This led her to the realization that Sir had poisoned the high school bully just before he abducted young Gaby. The day of the kidnapping was shown to viewers in a flashback, and they witnessed Sir threateningly stating, I will always be here for you, Gabrielle. If it wasn't upsetting enough that viewers discovered Sir was the cause of a teenage boy's poisoning, they were even more taken aback to discover he was also the cause of Lacey's dog's illness. The season came to a conclusion with Sir, who was thought to be leaving for Amsterdam hiding at Lacey's house after she learned that someone had purposefully hurt her cherished pet. Despite the cliffhanger that leaves viewers in shock, Found is fortunately scheduled to return for a second season.